you never left us. praises to our King. There is splendor and power all around Him. And we will gather all together, every nation, tribe, breed, and color, put our differences aside. And let our Father be glorified.
Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Let's stand and worship together. for who you are and all that you do for us. Lord, we pray that our praise be pleasing to you because you are worthy of all of it. In your name we pray, amen.
Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever save. You're worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Thank you for all the voices lifted up in praise this morning. We pray that you bless the speaker this morning, 
and that their words will fill us with your love. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Peace of Christ be with you. For those of you who are watching online, we want to welcome you to Hope College as well. We're so excited. Mom, if you're watching, I'll call you at 11. Um, my name is Trigvi Johnson. Uh, I serve as one of your chaplains. And it's my great joy just to gather us back into this space. It's so, this last week and a half has just been so good. Just been so good to be together. Hey, before we launch into this morning, a couple of notices. One, tonight there's a really important conversation happening at the Jack on how Christians should talk about race. Our beloved president, Matt Scogan, is going to help moderate a discussion between two faculty members. But we want to talk about race and racism and how do people of faith engage this? How do we talk well together about something that's often hard to talk about? So we want to invite you out at 7 o'clock tonight at the Jack Miller. Second thing, we have Bible studies going on. If you're wanting to connect and get involved with a Bible study, uh, we want to encourage you to sign up. Third, uh, the gathering is on Sunday night. Make some room in your schedule just to come together and worship together, not just in chapel, but for a little bit longer. Let's be together as a people. Sunday nights, 8 o'clock here. And then finally, 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 Men and Women's Night Out is coming up, not this weekend, but next weekend. And we want to put that on your radar for things to come. All right, those are all my notices. <sighs> hmm. It's not uncommon sometimes you might see me out of the Pine Grove or maybe on 8th Street, maybe on the, on the porch of the Heist, maybe out in front of DeWitt, maybe in front of the library. I'll just be standing here. And you might be curious, and you might ask, Trey, what you doing? I'm just praying. Huh. Trey, what you praying? And I'll say, Lord, make us like trees. Lord, make us like trees planted by streams of water. Mm, this is my daily prayer. I pray it every single day. And sometimes I need to activate that prayer with hand gestures and just feel it, feel the wind. But it is a prayer inspired by one of my favorite scriptures. Can I share it with you? Psalm 1. It's the opening of the prayer book. Hear these words from the book that we love, the bush that burns and is never consumed. The poet writes, Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the paths that sinners tread, or sit in the seat of scoffers. But their delight is in the law of the Lord, and on this law they meditate day and night. They're like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in its season, whose leaf never withers, and in all that they do they prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's the summer after my freshman year in college, and I got a job detailing cars at uh, Don Boyer Chevrolet. Somebody would turn in a car, trade it in, and then it was my job to take out all the seats, scrub down all of the carpet, do all of the kind of detailing. And it was a job that started about 8 o'clock, and I got done about 5 o'clock. There's a lunch break in there, but I'm outside. I got my tan going on, but it was a job also when I could listen to the radio. Back in the day, we had radio. And I would turn it on to a particular station, and this one particular station, there was a preacher preaching named Chuck Swindoll, and he was going off on Psalm 1. And I remember him while I'm detailing the cars, while I'm scrubbing the carpets. He said, if there was one psalm that I would want a young adult to internalize, it would be Psalm 1. And I remember he said that, and it stuck in my heart like a dart. And I took him seriously, and I went home, and I began to internalize this scripture. And I pressed it into my soul like the best music pressed into vinyl so that I could play it over and over and over again. And it is a scripture that's become kind of part of me, so much so that it's turned into a daily prayer. Lord, make us like trees planted by streams of water. I love this psalm. In fact, if you walk into the campus ministry house, there you'll see this kind of big mural over um, kind of in the big uh, gatherings place. And it's dedicated, it's inspired by Psalm 1. 
be trees planted by streams of water. So every day when I walk in, I can see that picture, and it reminds me to pray for you. Because that's my prayer for you, that you would be like a tree planted by streams of water. It's a psalm that has two dominant images. I've been told that if you want to change someone, don't give them an argument. Give them a picture which is why I love the Bible so much, because usually it's not making an argument, it's giving us pictures that we can live into. And the opening of the prayer book gives us these two fundamental pictures. One of them is chaff that the wind drives away. You know what chaff is? It's, it's lifeless. It's got no roots. It just kind of blows around with whatever the prevailing winds are. Do you know people like that? People who are just kind of floating around, they're not quite sure who they are. They're not really producing any kind of life. They're just trying to go with the flow. That's one image. And the other image is of a tree planted, rooted by streams of water. Whatever it does, it prospers. Its leaf never withers. A tree versus chaff. The psalmist offers us two images, and in those two images offers us a choice. And if you haven't figured it out yet, your life is about choices. You got to make choices about who you're going to be. I'm praying that you'll be like a tree planted by streams of water, that that will be your choice rather than chaff. But how do we begin to make those choices? How do we make a choice that allows us over time to grow into something consequential, something life-giving, something with integrity, like a tree planted by streams of water? How do we actually do that? Well, again, the psalmist, and this is where Swindoll was right, and it shaped my life. The psalmist reminds us that the Christian life is lived between a no and a yes, We have to make choices about the things we're going to say no to and the things that we will say yes to. And they are your choices, your decisions. No one can do it for you. Your parents can't do it for you. The institution can't do it for you. Your coaches can't do it for you. The administration can't do it for you. You have to make some decisions about your no and a yes. And the psalmist says, happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or take the paths that sinners tread, or sit in the seat of scoffers. Say no to sitting with the group that gossips. Say no to the group that is going to invite you on a path of sin to do something you just know in your heart isn't right. Say no to things, because when you learn how to say no to things, you have the space and the freedom to say yes to the right things. And the right thing is to say yes to the law of the Lord. And on this law, we will meditate day and night. In the Hebrew, that meditation is the image of somebody growling on a bone, like a lion chewing on this, meditating on it day and night. The law of the Lord, you know the law. To love the Lord your God with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength. To love your neighbor as yourself. Chew on that all day long, every night, every morning. You're rising and you're going to bed. Chew on the law of the Lord. What does it look like for you in your studies to love God? to love God with your mind? What does it look like for you to love your friends, to have a sacrificial love that seeks not only your own interests but the interests of others? What does it look like for you to love God on your team where you're putting other people first, where you're listening to your coaches, you're entering in to something that is much more consequential than just your own thing? To love the law of the Lord is to learn how to love deeply in every square inch of your life not just on a Sunday, not just in chapel, but every part of your life. And if you do that, the psalmist says, you'll be like a tree planted by streams of water. And so when I pray, Lord, make us like trees, what I'm praying for you is that you will learn to make great choices. You'll make choices that are going to lead to life. You're going to make choices that is going to lead to beauty. You're going to make choices that is going to allow you to grow your roots down deep into something consequential. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked. And you'll be like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season. In its season, it bears fruit. In its season. Not every season will bear the right kind of fruit, which means that you've got to be patient. One of the things I love about this psalm is that it gives us permission 
to grow slowly. The things of the soul cannot be rushed. Everyone, just take a deep breath with me. Exhale. We, sometimes we get into the beginning of the year and it's so fast-paced and we're doing all the things and we're signing up. I want to just use this psalm to remind you, take a deep breath. You don't have to have it all figured out right now. You can take your time. You can take your time. Tree growth is patient, but it's determined. They'll grow, you'll grow your right fruit in the right season. In the right season. Its leaf never withers. Why? Because it's got deep roots that go down underneath the surface. What I love about trees is there is a much below the surface as there is above the surface. My prayer for you is that you will be a deep people. We don't need just smart people. We need deep people, people of the soul, people who can go beneath the surface, have deep roots that kind of have the tentacles and the tap water of the Holy Spirit, of the Word of God, and it will nourish you from the from the tips of the roots all the way to the tip of the branches, and it will grow slowly, deeper, and thicker, and taller, and you will spiral to the heaven from light, from true light, every single day. And whatever you will do, says the psalmist, if you're like a tree, you will prosper. And that's one of the things I love about trees. Trees take in all the carbon dioxide, all the poison gas, and recycle it and create fresh air. That's what you need to do. You need to be a people who are putting all of that fresh air back into the atmosphere with your mouth and your tongue and your actions. Trees keep the soil from eroding. Trees provide shade for the weary and food for the hungry and strong limbs for children to play on. That's what I'm praying you will be. Trees never call attention to themselves. They just are doing their thing. And what their thing is doing is making everything around them prosper. And when you get a bunch of trees together like this, like this, you get a forest. And that forest creates all kinds of interesting possibilities. Hope College, this is my forest. You are the next generation of trees that God is raising up. You are going to go out into this world and you are going to prosper. And your leaf will never wither. And, and you will be so beautiful to see to the eye. And so as you launch into today, as you go about your studies, as you go to practice, as you hang out as friends, I pray that maybe, maybe, maybe you might be like a tree planted by streams of water. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, go in peace.
This is 